The Vault of Glass returns to Destiny tomorrow with its release in D2, and with it, hopefully many secrets and easter eggs for us to uncover, new or old. Today we are going to count down 5 Vault of Glass secrets to keep an eye out for. Let's get right into it. Bungie loves to fill their game environments with secrets, easter eggs, and most importantly some lore to go along with it. And while the Vault of Glass may be a moment in time raid, meaning that there's most likely no new story developments, there could still be many secrets found here, whether they're old, or maybe some new bits they added into the mix. So here are 5 secrets to keep an eye out for. Number 5, Secrets from Praetith's Fire Team. This was the first known Guardian fire team that entered the Vault of Glass. Things didn't really go well. Kabir the Titan forged himself into the Aegis to make his death worth something. This is what we used in the raid. Praetith's body can be found near the Gorgons, and Fahanin the Warlock was the only one to escape, though he was killed later by Dredge and Yor. But as it turns out, although Praetith's body is seen in the Vault, that's where he died, he still exists in other timelines. Also, a D2 lore book basically implied that he's still alive and searching for a way out of this Vex network. He's there trapped with the other Ishtar researchers, and I believe this was released around Season of the Undying. So if the raid is a moment in time, we may not see anything, but keep an eye out for secrets on Prey to this Fire Team for sure. Number 4, Changes to Venus. Venturing to the Vault of Glass means venturing to Venus, or at least the first part where the first encounter takes place. Bungie has said that the rest of Venus isn't returning, at least in this moment in time, and this will be the only explorable place on the planet. This most likely won't be the case, but keep an eye out for any changes in the environment. Has the darkness made its way near Venus like it has Mercury? Can you load into other patrol zones by glitching out of the map? Do they still exist in the files, or do they simply bring over just this part specifically in the environment? Most of the raid itself takes place in, well, the Vault of Glass, so this is the only look at Venus that we're going to get in terms of Destiny 2. Number 3, Vex Network and Timelines. The Vault of Glass was a massive experiment for the Vex to manipulate realities and timelines and explore all these possible outcomes. Atheon was responsible for deciphering these Vex calculations, and while that story took place in Destiny 1, may we see ties to the Vex's current goals within the Vex network, maybe even Quoria or Savathun. I mean, this seems like a perfect time to introduce something at least, having a season related to the Vex network, maybe even if it's just a scannable or a secret room that ties to the season events, right? It is one of the Vanguard's greatest triumphs. The destruction of time's conflux. A victory over the Vex collective mind. From deep in that vault, we've received a signal laced with an old Vanguard signature. Vex technology disrupts the weft and weave of time itself. If a Guardian has become lost, unstuck in time, we must return them home. Number 2, Hidden Chest and Scannables The original Vogue had some secret chests that would give you a chance at some new exotics if you didn't have them. Now we can assume that some of these chests may return, but some new ones could be added as well. The vault was also used for secret missions like the original No Time to Explain quest, so perhaps the vault may also trigger a new mission or exotic quest sometime down the line for a new or returning weapon. And number 1, the Whisper of the Worm Portal. Now I'm personally excited to know if this one has any ties to Destiny 2, at least in terms of the vault. So back when the Whisper of the Worm mission came out on Io, which has now been put in the content vault, there was this section where you had to snake your way around a Vex structure to proceed with the mission. 
If you veered off the path and went right though, and took this way along the cavern walls, you can find yourself near a hidden chest and some oracles which gave you a reward over multiple weeks. In the center of this area though was a giant vex portal which was turned on. If you walk through it, nothing would happen, but you can see through the other side. And where was it? The Vault of Glass. Why would this random portal placed here show the Vault of Glass? Was it a simple easter egg? Was it someone using this portal in terms of the lore? If you start up the Vault of Glass in Destiny 1 and make your way to the jumping puzzle just before Atheon, you can see this portal to the left down there in the Abyss. Now in the raid in D1 it didn't really have any specific purpose, but in the Paradox mission which was added later that details everything about Praetith, you can get a secret ending where you can actually enter this portal and get Praetith's ghost. This is the end of them. A path with no escape. And yet, here they are. There they were, and there they will be, and there they will have been. Welcome to the end of the Vex, their immutable future. So as mentioned, this gave us Praetith's Ghost which had ties to the future war cult. So not sure if this portal may be anything at all, but when you're nearing Atheon and getting towards that jumping puzzle, glance down there to the left and see if that portal has anything fishy going on with it. Here are some other fun things to look out for. Pushing Atheon off the edge. Originally this one was a bug, or a 1000 IQ method for easily taking out Atheon in Destiny 1. It was later patched of course, but could some other weapons in Destiny 2 do the same thing? I'm not sure. And then another one, Wyverns. Nothing more needs to be said about those, watch out for them. Here's some raid info if you plan on jumping in the action starting tomorrow. So the raid will begin at your normal reset time, 10am pacific time, 1pm EST or 6pm BST and so on with your own time zones. There will be a world's first raid even though it's a returning raid from the first game. So contest mode will be active for the first 24 hours allowing everybody to be on the same playing field if you are high enough power at 1300 power. Once you beat the raid once, you will unlock the challenge mode. In this challenge mode you must complete the raid and also a list of challenges and triumphs if you want to have a shot at claiming that world's first belt, which looks like this. Since Venus isn't returning, you'll be able to find the raid in the legend spot in your director. And here is a look at the updated loot table for the Vault of Glass this time around, to the best of our knowledge thanks to Testify on Reddit who created this image. Anyway Guardians, that's all I got for today's video. Let me know down below if there's any other Vault of Glass secrets we may have missed that you should look out for, and I thank you very much for watching. Anyway, my name's Evade, and I'll catch you Guardians in the next one.